to Made Up, it's your girl Diane, and today we are reviewing the Retinol Eye Cream from the Inky List. Yay! I had started shooting this video previously, but I had challenged myself to do a 30 day, I don't know if it's called a wear test, Basically, I'm testing out the product for 30 days and when I was doing a little bit of research afterwards, they had recommended a 60 day trial period to really see if the product will work or in their opinion, it takes 60 days to see true results with that product. So I decided to extend my wear test from 30 to 60 days. So now I have been working on this for what feels like forever. 60 days is such a long time. In this video, you'll see the progression of how it worked, if it worked. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned. All right, so if you guys aren't familiar, The Inky List is an affordable skincare brand that recently, I think it was just last year, launched at Sephora, I believe. Um, I don't know how long they've been in business for. I don't know if they were selling on a different platform or maybe just their own platform before then. The first time I was introduced to The Inky List was definitely through Sephora, and that just started I believe it was last year. It's an affordable skincare brand, but as far as comparing it to what else is at Sephora, by far, this is an affordable skincare brand. So just to give you an example, because this is the only product I have tried from the Inky List, this is their retinol eye cream, and it comes in this little tube like this and it is 0.5 fluid ounces or 15 mls. This product retails for $9.99, which is incredible when you're talking a retinol eye cream. Just to give you an example, let's pull up another retinol eye cream here. There is a retinol eye cream from First Aid Beauty, which is also sold at Sephora, and that one is $42 for the same amount, so that 15 mLs or half um, half an ounce, and then this one is $9.99. So you get what I mean about affordable, right? That is definitely the lowest price point I've seen, not to mention at Sephora, which is typically luxury brands. If this works, this will be a steal. Just amazing value. All right, so let's talk about the product itself. So what's kind of cool that I really like that I thought was kind of unique to the Inky List is they have some key indicators on here to who they're targeting and what you're supposed to be doing with this product, which I think is great. So for instance, this says 25 or plus. So, I mean, you don't need this if you're, you know, 18 years old. They're recommending it for ages 25 and above it is meant to treat. So right here they have these bubbles. It tells you what the product is supposed to do. So for instance, it's clean, hydrate, treat, moisturize, or SPF. And they've filled in the bubble that says treat, which I think is so cute. And then it also says best for first signs of aging, helps to reduce wrinkles and fine lines. So I love that. It just makes things very simple, very user-friendly. They're not trying to complicate things. You, you don't have to be a chemist to understand what you're supposed to be doing with this product. As far as the ingredients goes, they have a list of ingredients here. What we know about skincare, just the basics. I'm not licensed in skincare. I'm not a licensed esthetician or a doctor or anything like that. I just like to research what I can about skincare products. That being said, I would not consider myself an expert, just a lover of skincare, just a fan. And, but I do know on the ingredients list, the most active ingredients or the highest concentrations of anything will be the first five items listed in the ingredient list. You still don't know how much concentration for each product, but typically general rule of thumb is that first five are going to be the highest concentration. So let me tell you what the first five ingredients are. It says aqua, which is water, caprylic, capric triglyceride, glycerin, and butylene, I don't know if I'm saying that right, butylene glycol. Those are the first five ingredients, and that stops like right about here on the box. Let me just show you where retinol is. So that's where retinol is, and I'll zoom in so that you guys can see that better, but retinol's pretty low on the list there. 
That being said, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. It's just something I wanted to point out. I will say that if you're not used to retinol on your face, which is, it's not something I typically use just yet. I have maturing skin and as I get older, I'll probably incorporate more retinol products into my skincare routine. I thought this would be a great way to get a little bit of retinol into my skin, especially here along the eyes because that's really right now where I have some fine lines and wrinkles. Other than that on my face, that would be the biggest problem area I would see. Next to that, probably my forehead, but baby steps, we'll get there. Retinol, I don't know if it's supposed to be in those first five ingredients because it is on the most sensitive part of your face, which is right here on the under eyes. It's the thinnest part of skin. It's the most delicate. It's the most susceptible to pulling and fine lines and wrinkles. It's just something that I wanted to point out. As far as the application process of the product, pretty easy. It comes in this little squeeze tube here. So I like that, that I'm not dipping my finger into any jars right now, especially all that bacteria. I do like that this one is not though. Very easy to come out. I am going to put a little dollop on my hand here. Don't be alarmed. This product, if you can see that, oh, it's sliding, I gotta do it. <laughs> This product has gone bad. Now, I haven't had this product for that long, so that's something else I wanted to talk about today. Obviously, I'm a lover of skincare. I know not to mistreat certain products because of their active ingredients. Retinol is not that stable. This has already broken down. I will say this probably started to break down before my 60 day trial was over. I don't know what happened. I don't know if that's normal. I know that I didn't keep it in very high temperatures. I live in a very hot climate and this product did have to travel to me and that could have contributed to why this product has broken down. I don't know what types of temperatures it was exposed to. I will tell you that I took care of this product and that I did not expose it to any extreme temperatures and you know, it still happens. So I'm very bummed about that. Another thing I wanna cover is they did not add any fragrance to this. That being said, it does have a smell, but I believe that it's just the ingredients they use, like that's just the smell. They didn't use anything to combat it. I don't feel like there's any sort of fragrance in it. It just smells a light little scent of like, like wax or chemicals. That sounds bad. Maybe not chemicals, but just like the ingredients they use. Like there is a smell to it, but I don't believe it is fragrance. So let's move on to how it did for the month. I am going to rely on my trusty footage that I took throughout the months to kind of give you examples of how it started on day one and then how we finished on day 60. See you soon. All right, you guys, I am going to test out this retinol eye cream from the Inky List. This is my first time actually trying any of their products and I've been looking to get some retinol in my routine but I wasn't exactly sure how and I thought this would be kind of a really easy way to do it because I was looking for a new eye cream. So this is what the bottle looks like there and it says use in the PM on cleansed skin apply a small amount onto the finger and gently pat around the contour of the eye follow with moisturizer. So we're gonna do that now. I'm just gonna tap this around the eye and hopefully I don't have any sort of reaction to it. So we'll see. I normally put my eye cream a little bit up here too because I feel like my skin, like I have hooded eyes and it gets dried out right there. I should mention that I've already cleansed my skin so that part's already done. I'm using my ring finger cause that's the supposedly the most gentle, the most gentle finger. <laughs> and we're just gonna tap around the eye, trying not to get it too close to the lash line there. And I'm just gonna tap. So that's it there. I'm gonna finish up with the rest of my skincare, but I'm gonna use this cream for 30 days. We're gonna give it a shot. This is day one. Wish me luck. Alright you 
guys, it is day 10 of me using this retinol eye cream here. I can't say that I've noticed any differences. I'm just gonna show you how much I'm using. I'm just taking a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit and I'm patting it underneath the eye. There is a little bit of a smell on this, but it's not like a fragrance. I feel like maybe the smell of the actual ingredients they're using, but it is very light and it doesn't smell like fragrance in the sense of like, hey, it's trying to smell good. So I just took that little, to little tiny, tiny bit to spread it up on the eye there. So again, on the other side, I'm taking just a little bit and tapping it underneath the eye. All right, so that's day 10. We'll keep using it. Bye guys. Hi guys. All right, so I thought I'd shoot a video today. It is day 13. Um, I decided to shoot a video because I feel like when, and this doesn't happen during the day, I felt like when I took my makeup off, it happened a little bit yesterday, so that's probably why I'm taking more note of it today. But I used a cleansing balm. I used a micellar water to get some of the residual eye makeup off. And it started to burn a little bit around my eyes, especially up here. And this is where I had been putting the retinol cream, which you're not, I don't think you're really supposed to do. That's kind of a very sensitive area. So today I just want to note that I did change the routine. I did just put it on underneath here in this section and then I stopped. So I'm not going to be putting the retinol eye cream anymore up here. I didn't notice any redness or anything like that, but it just burned when I used the micellar water, which normally doesn't burn on me. So just a side note, I am just gonna keep watching. I don't know if I look any different, but we will see. Stay tuned. Bye guys. All right guys, let's dish. That is what the eyes are looking right now or underneath the eye. I can't say that it looks any different right now, but let's wait till the end of the 30 days to make any assumptions, I suppose. But I've just been continuing on the bottom eye. I will tell you that I do believe it was actually the micellar water that I was using while it was like burning up here because I went to use a different micellar water and it didn't burn in the same way. So I don't know, but either way, when I had stopped putting the retinol eye cream up here, I just stopped it. So that was like midway or a little bit before midway. Now I've just been putting it on the under eyes down here. So we'll see how the rest of the trial period goes. Okay. log star date <laughs> just kidding so we're on day 37 i know it's kind of an awkward place to check but i feel like for the last few weeks i've been taking pictures and not video so i thought i would just hop on here and show where i'm at that's it i've already done all my skincare and put on this cream here but status wise i thought i might just shoot a video and see kind of what my face looks like there you have it All right guys, so what do you think? I am done with my 60 days. This is what my under eye looks like. Right off bat, I can't tell any really, really noticeable difference. If it made a difference, I can't see it. <laughs> so there you have it guys. I really wanted to like this eye cream. It's affordable and I'm always looking for 
affordable options, not just for makeup, but also for skincare. Because I know that I go through skincare more than I go through makeup, and I know a lot of us out there do who really stick to a skincare regimen morning and night and really try to take care of our skin, I am always looking for affordable options. It can really, really start to add up if you're not looking for those affordable options. So anytime I can find affordable skincare with great active ingredients, I'd like to give it a shot. So this item I was really, really excited for, really excited to try something from the Inky List. At this point, I can't say that it worked out for me that great. You know, my eyes don't look that much different. And I shouldn't say much different, I don't feel like they look different at all. Like. I didn't notice any benefits from using this retinol eye cream. And I'm so bummed to say that because I just, ugh, I wanted this to be so good. Now that doesn't mean that I don't wanna keep using the Inky List. I definitely want to try more products from the line. They have mixed reviews on different products and sometimes it's just about that product not working for your skin, right? I definitely wanna try more from the line. I wanna give other products a real shot because it is such an affordable price point and it's very accessible that it's at Sephora. Long story short, I really, really want to like this line. <laughs> But we will see. I will continue to try to more products. But if you've tried this retinol eye cream, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if it worked for you. I believe that I gave this a fair shot and it just didn't work. And that's okay. That's what we're here for. We're here to try again and have some fun while we're doing it. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. All right, guys. Till next time. See you soon.